Hello everybody and welcome back to my piano mood. Today I'm in the mood to finish, or well, not to finish, but to continue with the Silent Night tutorial. So before we move to that, I have a quick announcement to make. Um, as you know, uh, if you follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash piano moods, um, I am currently working to release my next album called Mythical Moods. So those of you who know me, you know I enjoy fantasy and fantasy creatures. So of course that was bound to be the theme of an album sooner or later. Well, it's going to be out on 12 December. Check out the cover. This is what we have. Uh, also check out the playlist here um, uh, with all the titles you'll find and I hope you will like it. So I'll be probably dropping a few details on the Facebook page. So don't hesitate to go there. Follow me. So in the previous videos, we uh, were playing uh, the Silent Mood theme. So so Silent Moods, here we go. Silent Night. So. There we go. And we had stopped here. This this uh, note here was the spoiler for the current video. So now we're going to move on to the next pattern. So this is a bit more complicated. So let's break it down. Let's take it. Let's take it slowly. So we're starting with this um, A which is a la to me move up to do we're still in this key so we just go down once up to sol and then we have a quick up and down again and we're back on Do that's what happens when you double it and we're not going to triple it really because we're not going <laughs> to this is just not practical it, it, it just sounds clunky when you play it so if you want to give it more color you can triple it to here and then you can just those you can triple um, you can do a triple and double like but I don't really recommend it I would uh, if I if I'm to triple any chord I would go for these two And then I would finish with uh, with two keys. Uh, the reason why is that it's just not practical to triple everything, it, and it, it just doesn't sound fluid. You want this to be fluid. So even doubling is not that easy if you don't have a bit of practice. Um, so it's perfectly fine. Also, if you go. I would do it that way because it's going to be easiest to play if you want to give uh, a bit more color so you would start with three keys and then you would cut out two of them here you would go to two keys there you go so um now here if you want to do the the if you want to have a fluid movement then you're going to have to you're going to be here with your thumb and index and you're going to have to switch you can keep your thumb on the me and you can just finish like that so this is going to take a bit of drilling right so don't uh, don't worry about it um i'll also give you a spoiler and the spoiler is that you're going to repeat this Thank you. 
and this will be your spoiler. We're going back to the ray here. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this again. So, if you want to, I think you may have to watch it a few times until you get you you become fluid and and you get this right. Um, and then the next uh, probably will finish in about two videos. I'm guessing maybe three, but we will definitely be there for the 24th of December. So in the meantime, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and thumbs it up. If you didn't, please subscribe <laughs> and thumbs it down. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers, guys.